The Lord heard and had mercy on me. The Lord became my helper. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these holy mysteries on this first Friday of the Lenten season, let us pause for a moment now. Coming to the Lord, let's do so. Contrite of heart, humble, eager to receive God's mercy for those times we have sinned. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Christ Jesus, you come to us in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. And now let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, Cry out full-throated and unsparingly, Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness, and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day, and desire to know my ways. Like a nation that has done what is just, and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast, and you do not see it, afflict ourselves, and you take no note of it? Lo, on your fast day, you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high. Is this the manner of fasting I wish, of keeping a day of penance? That a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast? a day acceptable to the Lord. This, rather, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spur. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is always is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Right. Right. God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifice. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples of John approached and Jesus said, "What?" And approached Jesus and said, "Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast?" Jesus answered them, "Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them." And then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
When I visit my mother in the evenings, uh, one of our normal routines is to watch a uh, game show on the game show network called Masterminds. And in it, it's a trivia show in which they ask questions and the contestants and the masterminds see if they know the answer. One of the normal questions it's uh, that they give multiple choice answers to and you try to guess or know which one is right is um, a question they say, which comes first? And they list three things and they ask you which of these happened first? Well, when it comes to uh, the threefold uh, discipline of Lent on uh, Ash Wednesday, we had Jesus giving us this order. First, almsgiving, then prayer, then fasting. And he spoke of them, obviously, in terms of doing those things without looking for or seeking public acclamation. Well, today, I think it's very clear on this Friday and the first Friday of Lent that what comes first in these two readings is fasting. Fasting is mentioned both in the first reading and in the gospel as they ask Jesus why he and his disciples do not fast. I think one, not only because of these readings, but in other ways, one could make the argument that in this discipline of Lent, fasting would come first and should come first. Because if we do indeed fast from the things of this world, sometimes uh, from the people of this world to go off and be by ourselves, then indeed we have the opportunity to connect with God in prayer. In the gospel today, uh, they questioned Jesus about his disciples not fasting. And Jesus said, while the bridegroom is there, they cannot and should not fast. They, the apostles, were blessed to have Jesus there with them. They spoke to God and listened to him, though they didn't realize it. Their time with Jesus was a time of prayer. And our first reading today reminds us, Fasting from the things of this world mean nothing if all we do is argue or complain about uh, not having enough food. Rather, what he says is our fasting should lead us to feeding the hungry, bringing justice to those who are being mistreated and not given a fair shake. Actions in the name of Jesus Christ for others is a very important part, not only of the Lenten season, but our, of our uh, continual life in the Lord Jesus. In summary, you could say what Jesus is calling us to do during this Lenten season, fasting, prayer, and almsgiving, is simply following the two great commandments, loving God and loving our neighbor as ourselves. Now let's turn to, to the Lord with our prayers and our petitions today. We pray for our church, for its leaders and its people, that they will reflect the call of the gospel to follow Jesus and during this Lenten season to carry out the Lenten way. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are suffering this day in mind, body, and or spirit, those suffering because of the cold, because of the for driving conditions, that God will keep them safe and lead them through their difficulty to a better situation. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those uh, amongst us who need God's guidance and help in whatever direction our life needs to take to be more in His image and likeness, more and more pleasing to Him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life, that God will bless the church with more who give of themselves in following Jesus completely uh, and in a special way sacramentally. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray today for all the faithful departed, especially for those recently deceased 
I want to pray especially for uh, Lynn Borders' son, Steve, who passed away suddenly a few days ago, as well, Terry Serzin of our parish, the wife of Joe Serzin, for them and all those who have uh, died, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord our Lord. And that each one of us will take seriously this holy season of Lent to make it truly a blessing for us and a blessing for the church as we uh, journey toward the Easter Triduum. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we want to pray especially for our brothers and sisters in Texas, those who are without power, those who have truly been struggling greatly, that relief will soon come to them in their time of need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Good and loving Father, you call us to turn to you with our minds and our hearts, and turn to one another with love and with care and concern. May your inspiration lead us to do just that. And may we know that Christ Jesus is ever near to us, ever with us, especially in word and sacrament, to strengthen us in holiness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of the Lord and His name, for our good and good of all His holy We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our, pow to our powers of self-restraint. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds to you, and bestow both virtue and ultimately its reward. Through Christ our Lord, through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith 
save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, Father, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and forever praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For Lord, the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Please, if you'll say your a spiritual communion prayer. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us now pray. 
We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds, and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Well, thank you again for tuning in and participating in this Mass uh, live stream or uh, taped if you're watching it later in the day. God bless you. We'll get back to you through a robocall. We were having trouble with the robocalls, the system, um, last night and early this morning, but I think I found a way to make sure it goes through. So we'll be letting you know about the weekend masses, what we will do and what we won't do. So uh, please uh, be attuned to the robocalls as they come. The Lord be with you. And with you. Bow your heads and pray for the blessing. For your mighty deeds, O God of mercy, may your people offer endless thanks. And by observing the age-old disciplines along their pilgrim journey, especially in this Lenten season, may they merit to come and behold you forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a, have a nice day.